Now the 0-1 movement that we saw on the computer screen and had explained to us by the uh, designer of the movement is not yet in full production. However, we have a watchmaker with us who can show us how the movement is assembled and in particular focusing again on the same components we looked at on the computer, that is to say the column wheel and the oscillating pinion, how they come together, how they work together in the movement. Now the component that the watchmaker is now uh, putting onto the watch is the column wheel. Very easy to identify because with the zero one one movement it's red. And of course it's held in place by a screw. Now the next component he's putting into place is associated with the pusher for the start stop. very fine spring is being put into position. Now enough components are in place that we can see how when the start-stop pusher is actuated, the column wheel is turned. And it's turned by a finger below the red columns that you see standing up on top of the column wheel. So the pusher acts on the bottom of the column wheel and that causes the top portion that you see in red to turn. The component that he's now holding is the oscillating pinion. And you can see how fine it is with teeth both on the bottom and on the top. The bottom teeth are going to be connected to the running movement. And it's the top that will move back and forth to either connect or be disconnected from the chronograph seconds wheel. Now the component that the watchmaker has on his tool is the bascule, is the French word, that at one end has a finger that is controlled by the column wheel, and at the other end has another finger that goes against the oscillating pinion to change its position as the chronograph is started. And that bascule has a spring that works against it. Now what you're seeing is the main chronograph bridge that normally would block the view of these components in the assembled watch. But of course is an essential component to hold things in place. This is really a privileged view that we have, something that normally a watch owner would never see and would only be seen by the watchmaker who builds the watch or when it comes time for service after years of use, the watchmaker who would service the watch.